spur. It is quite a bit colder here than where I left um, earlier this afternoon. We're on the road again. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, we're currently in the Coast Mountains, uh, somewhere between Pemberton and Lillooet uh, to spend the night. I've never actually stayed at this rec site, but I stopped here once for like a lunch break. And at the time I didn't, I wasn't able to stay. And I said, I want to come back and camp someday. So since the place I was intending to spend tonight was still covered in snow, then I'm going to stay here. So that's quite nice. Uh, it's already drier than the other side of the mountains. Uh, but yeah, it was a beautiful drive. It was really nice to be back in the mountains and that there's still snowy peaks. But the road is dry, so it's kind of like the perfect time to drive through the mountains because I don't have to deal with the snow driving, but I get to look at it and it's really pretty. And yeah, I have a lot of fond memories in the Coast Mountains and that's why I chose this route. We're gonna be taking it pretty slow these first couple days on the road uh, because I have an appointment on Monday, today's Friday. I have an appointment in 100 Mile House to get my alignment checked and my tires rotated. So we're gonna be dawdling until we get there and then we're gonna pick up the pace northbound. Yeah, it felt kind of weird leaving Squamish on such a beautiful day. It was so warm in town and so sunny and it would have been just the perfect day to enjoy being there. But today was the deadline I set for hitting the road. It was actually the latest deadline I'd set. I'd hoped to be on the road maybe like a week ago, ideally, so I could take the whole drive north really slow. But yeah, that's totally fine. That said, it's a little cold out for skirt so I'm gonna put pants on and we're gonna be taking it easy tonight because I've been really busy um, seeing friends and traveling and getting ready to hit the road um, I'm behind on editing once again I'm just apparently not a very good youtuber so I'm gonna spend tonight editing and I'm not even gonna cook anything because I have this hunk of focaccia I picked up in town so yeah, it's going to be like a inside night working at the computer. <laughs> oh yeah? Good morning. Do you want a breakfast, Greenie? Do you? <laughs> Let's get you one. Let's get you a breakfast, Greenie, Frank. Oh no, it's so hard to open with one hand. Hello, good morning. Oh, we had such a nice morning. Frank got to lay out in the sun for a bit, but before that, we snuggled and snoozed until like after 1 p.m. It was really nice. So yeah, it's uh, it's not morning, it's afternoon. It's sometime around 2.30 <laughs> and I'm just, just getting my coffee. But um, yeah, it was really nice. There's no cell phone service here and it's quite quiet. And so yeah, I just decided to keep trying to get as much sleep as possible. Um, so that I start this this trip feeling energized. So yeah, it's been really nice. I cleaned up in here um, a bit and Frank enjoyed his toy and we've just been in such a good mood, which feels really great. So I'm gonna relax and drink this. <laughs> and then we're gonna roll out of here and we're gonna finish driving the Duffy Highway and we're gonna end up in Lillooet which has a really nice viewpoint. I always stop at every trip. It's, um, yeah, I just like can't help it. So we always stop there and 
Like by the time we get to Lillooet, like there's sagebush and stuff there. So we're in a desert environment. Uh, so we'll drive further. I'm not exactly sure how far we'll go. We'll either go to Marble Canyon or maybe a little further. I'm not totally sure. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just just going to enjoy, enjoy the drive and uh, this change of scenery from the coast over the coast mountains to the desert is just one of my favorite things to experience. Uh, it's a big reason why I really like taking this particular route because it's just uh, such an apparent change and um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great trip. I'm really excited to be on the road again and heading northbound. It feels good. So as much as I enjoy when the train dries out from one side of the coast mountains to the other, I do not enjoy when my body dries out, which is why I'm so stoked on today's sponsor, who is Drink Element. Element is a super tasty electrolyte drink mix with none of this BS you absolutely don't need in electrolyte drink mix, like artificial flavors, artificial colors, corn, soy, gluten, stuff like that. Just a science-backed blend of essential electrolytes, which play a vital role in so many different functions within the body. It's really, really important to replenish any electrolytes lost due to sweat because when you sweat, you lose water and you also lose electrolytes. And I notice personally that when I stay up on my hydration and my electrolyte intake, I have way less cramping and headaches. You might've noticed it's been a while since I've had a migraine and I definitely attribute that to a better hydration regimen that has been a big focus for me this year. And if you would like to give Drink Element a try, all you have to do is go to drinklmnt.com slash to alpine and make any purchase. You're gonna get the sample pack included and the sample pack has eight of their flavors. So you can give them a try, see which one you might like to try out next. There's also the insider bundle, which if you buy three boxes, you get the fourth for free plus the sample pack when you use the link. You can get the sample pack with every purchase from Element no matter how many times you purchase. So every time you do replenish your electrolyte stock, go to drinklmnt.com slash to alpine. Make sure you're getting the sample pack because using that link really does help support the channel. And if you have any issues or you end up not liking the product, Drink Element has excellent customer service. They've been just a wonderful company to work with and I really, really stand by their product. With that said, thank you to Drink Element for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the road trip. All right, well, we made it to camp just as the sun was setting behind the mountains and it is quite cold here. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it to be this cold, but it's all right. Uh, it's really, really good to be in this region. I quite enjoy uh, BC's desert area. And yeah, I would have liked to have spent more time around Lillooet and considered camping there, but the campground was closed. There's like a free campground there. It's closed. And then the one in Marble Canyon I like to stay at was also uh, still gated, which is something that really frustrates me with BC Parks, is that there, there's no snow, I don't need services, just leave it open so I can enjoy the parks. Uh, but they don't, they block them. And yeah, I get there's not enough, it wouldn't be busy enough to like keep staff on, but like they could just let us camp for free and we just practice. Um, leave no trace and look after ourselves and there used to be a lot more of that and then of course um, you know people ruined it so so I'm here in a different area that uh, I know is always accessible well unless there's snow but and I thought about going for a walk but then I realized I was really hungry and I would like to eat before it's dark so I'm crisping up some tofu and then cutting up some sweet potato and we're gonna do with some Brussels sprouts and noodle and seasoning. It should be good. Nice filling meal because I really haven't eaten much today. For this I use fresh udon noodles and I don't boil them or anything first. I just break it up and put them in and then I put the lid on for a bit and then they just kind of like cook in the steam and now I'm just uh, giving them some time to crisp up a little bit. I like some crunchy bits on my noodles. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna do 
garlic powder. Probably a lot of that. Yeah, lots, lots of that. I'm gonna do cumin. I'm gonna do a bit of black pepper. I'm gonna do some ginger powder. <laughs> and then instead of putting salt in while I'm cooking, I'm gonna put this on. Oh, I'm gonna put this on at the end. This plate salt is so good. And now I'm gonna add the tofu back in. And the reason I cooked it first was so that it got crispy. Whereas if I put it in with everything else, it would likely just break up and, and then not be like its own little thing. This is a lot of food, this is good. This is lunch and dinner in one. Frank's uh, squeaking on a toy back there. I gave him his dinner and he seemed so excited for it, but then he just kept doing this like nose pushy thing, which I've seen some people say is like their dog trying to bury it for later, but I know he's hungry and he wants to eat. He's just um, treating it with like disgust because he wants me to make it better. There are treats in it, but he wants me to make it more better. And so I just took it away from him for a little bit and then I'll give it back to him, like maybe when I'm eating and then he'll, he'll eat it just fine. Do you want your dinner now? Are we gonna eat together, bud? Oh yeah, now it's, now it's good enough. I love you, Frank. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good boy. <laughs> It's been a really nice morning here. I'm really enjoying having even just a little bit of time in an environment so different to the coast. Frank's been loving the dry ground and warm sun, but unfortunately it is time to depart. I need to have phone service today. So we're gonna head out of here, head back to the highway. And then I don't think it'll be long after that we'll reach the junction with Highway 97, at which point we'll turn left to start north, which is really exciting. And my goals for today are to find uh, one trail or like small walk that I've never gone on, as well as I'm going to revisit one that I've been to once before. But I remember being like underwhelmed and I think... I have like a healthier mindset around hiking now. So it might actually be a nice place to check out. Uh, it's called Chasm or Chasm, Chasm. I think it's Chasm. So yeah, we're gonna do that. I have never been up this road before. It's actually really nice in here, or at least I enjoy it. And I'm off to see a waterfall, which according to comments on all trails is hard to get a good view of, but I brought my drone, so I should be able to at least see it on that. Oh, geez, a gross. <laughs> but at least I will enjoy a nice walk. Even with the drone, I can't see much of a waterfall and it's pretty nerve wracking flying in such a confined space, especially since I can't see the drone once I turn into the can canyon and I'm just flying by what the drone sees as well as the proximity sensors. So it was a little thrilling, but it's a really, really neat feature. I'm glad I came to check it out. And maybe if it were a hotter day, I would go back, get my sandals, and then try actually going up the canyon. Cause I think that could be a really fun adventure. Uh, but that said, it's time to uh, 
wander my way back and uh, get back on the road. All right, hello. I am here at Chasm Provincial Park and it is just as whelming as I remembered, which is slightly under, uh, but that's okay. I just, uh, you know, I've been to the Grand Canyon, so it's hard to feel too much wow for this, but I'm still gonna go out and enjoy a nice walk. But yeah, I took Frank out for a quick pee before I left. It's quite a bit colder here. And oh, I can see snow on the trail just ahead, so that makes sense. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. I got a couple hours of daylight left, but I have an appointment for my vehicle tomorrow at a town about 30 minutes north of here. So I need to find somewhere to camp between here and there. And while I probably could get away with staying here for the night, I am technically within the provincial park and I just don't feel like dealing with anyone being upset with me. So I was looking at the map and I found a rec site that's 20 minutes north. Uh, it's not too far from the highway, but right now there's patches of snow in all the shadows and where it's melting around. Uh, it's very, very slick mud, so I'm not exactly feeling inspired for a back road adventure. So I'll probably just take the rec site near the highway and then I'm set up for just it being a really easy day tomorrow to get into town to take my van into a shop. All right, well, the rec site wasn't exactly the type of rec site I was expecting. Uh, it was kind of just like a big parking area by the highway, which is less than ideal. So I came down this dirt road that was off the back of the parking lot and I found a little pull off and I'm level. So I'm gonna call that home for the night. And I feel good about not being too far from the highway because it is forecasted for maybe some snow tonight or in the morning. Uh, it is pretty chilly out and I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna get a jacket on. I'm gonna let Frank out and start on dinner. I'm pretty short on ingredients because in a few days I'll hit Prince George and I'll go to Costco. So I'm trying to like eat up what's in the van and um, yeah, not gonna go to a grocery store before I go to Costco, so. Well, yeah, it's, it's quite cold here. There's snow. There's snow just like right there. So I imagine Frank will enjoy going to eat some of that. I've made the most thrilling decadent van life dinner ever. I have pot of rice, but it's not just any rice. It's rice cooked with vegetable bouillon, but it gets better. I also have can of refried beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> beans and rice. That's what we're doing. I was craving rice. I'm hungry. And I thought this was going to be a can of soup and it's beans. So that's, that's just, that's going to be it. Mm. And the rice is al dente. <laughs> yeah, my stove is running a little hot. 
which I might have mentioned. And so, yeah, it just went a little faster than I was expecting. And so we're going to have slightly crunchy rice. Yay. And so how this works is I take a little scoop of beans from the can. And then I scoop the bean spoon in the rice. Yep. So I'm at 100 mile right now and I just took my van in to get an alignment and I found out that they can't do an alignment because I need lower ball joints on both sides. I literally just changed the upper ball joints on both sides. Well, not just that, the entire control arm. Ugh. And like, I can't do that. that that's not going to happen anytime in the next couple months. So um, no alignment. <laughs> A lot more work to be done. I also need a tire rotation and I came to a Cal tire because I thought that's where I bought my tires but it turns out I bought my tires at an Integra tire. So I'm about to just drive uh, up to Williams Lake, so an hour, and they can't do a rotation but they can at least tell me if the tires are needing replacement under warranty because they're suddenly extremely worn, which I didn't realize, so it's like kind of stressful. Um, I feel like they're lower than they should be and I want to get them checked within like the warranty mileage. So yeah, it's, uh, sometimes I hate living in a vehicle. <laughs> Alright, today has been just such a whirlwind. Um, I left 100 Mile House. I drove an hour north to Williams Lake. And the second location I went to was able to do a uh, quick tire rotation. Which is good. Because at least now, like, the worst tires aren't on the back. Um, and <laughs> then they sent me an hour and a half north. Uh, to a specific shop that would just retorque them, no hassle. So that's where I am. I'm in Quinell right now, uh, which is kind of where I was hoping to be by the end of the day, and it's 4.30. So, um, yeah, there's a co-op here. I'm going to go in and see about a shower, according to I Overlander. They will let me have a shower, which would be really nice. Um, and, yeah, I still have to figure out getting water at some point but yeah that can wait um it's, i have water for a couple days so yeah the plan is to get clean and hopefully that will just help me feel a little bit more relaxed because i'm feeling a little tense i'm not stoked i have more front end suspension work to do but i'm also not surprised at all like at all um yeah, I just, I just would have liked to have done it before leaving the South because um, our normal mechanic will let us stay in the van during work so then I can like get work done and Frank can be cozy and it, it just makes life a lot nicer. So um, I did, I don't know if I showed you, I bought like a big bath towel because for years, basically as long as I've lived in a van, I've mostly used these like silly little microfiber towels and they just don't dry well and showering at friends houses who have like nice plush towels the towel is like just so nice so i just bought myself one and it takes up a ton of space in here i have nowhere to store it um and that's that's just fine so i'm going to go have a shower and then we'll figure out like about camping tonight somewhere between here and prince george because tomorrow is going to be a chore day in Prince George, a supply day, provisions for the road. So I just got inside the co-op to shower. Look at shower, massive room, and best of all, it's free. There's no charge to have a shower here. They just said if they're open and you don't have a shower, you can just come have a shower, so. All right, so I'm clean and uh, we are here at camp at a lake. I drove about a half hour north of Quinell, which will make tomorrow um, easy to get up and get into Prince George to do my provisioning. But it is pretty cold here, so when Frankie's down outside, we're going to go in, and I think it's going to be an editing night. 
um, because yeah, it's just, it just doesn't feel that nice to hang outside. It's um, just slightly above freezing. So basically like a West Coast midwinter. Uh, but yeah, it was nice that I was actually able to get in here. There's really low snow this year. Uh, it's been pretty dry up north uh, compared to how it should be. And yeah, I'm going to wait inside for Frank because it is cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back on the road. It feels great to be traveling again and covering ground. And yeah, I'm like already pretty much in the north, which is really exciting. So yeah, it's going to be a great um, next week as I head west along the uh, Yellowhead Highway. The door just closed there. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining for our journey and I look forward to sharing whatever the road has ahead for us with you in the next one. So I hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon.